months away from NASCAR returning to Kentuckiana and bringing nearly 100,000 fans with it. After a record 12 caution flags slowed last year's race, drivers Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, and Eric Jones were on hand today to try and get a grip on the track. WHAS 11's Holden Krewicki, he was also there in attendance today and joins us now with some big changes. Renee, the Derby has left town, but there was plenty of horsepower on display where the rubber meets the road in Sparta as teams try to conquer a track and a sport that is undergoing major changes. We are working on new concepts that have never been tried before in NASCAR. After 12 caution flags last year, it was time for yet another change at Kentucky Speedway. Major damage to the front end of that car. A bumpy track can be a good thing. What's not a good thing is a track that is unraveling and that you don't know whether or not the track is going to hold up. Instead of stripping the asphalt and starting from scratch, they simply decided a facelift would create a better fan experience. So everything that we've done and looked at and taken into account uh, is to create where they can pass on a brand new racetrack, that the track comes out of the box, so to speak, as a season track that you've got great racing and, and they're fighting for position. While more asphalt has been added, 20,000 seats have been taken away as the sport prepares to lose its most popular driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr. But this is going to create a void for our sport. I mean, I'm you're living in a, a dream world. As Dale Jr. prepares for his last laps, Mark Simondinger says the sport is in good position for one big reason. There's nothing else like it. Speaking of characters, the King, Richard Petty, will be celebrating his 80th birthday here on July 2nd, and that party is going to be open to the public. And of course, just six days later, the boys from NASCAR will be racing around the track. From Sparta, Holden Krewicki, WHS 11 News. And staying with sports here at